back with another creation from the Monport CO2 laser. Today I just had this piece of scrap. I started to do another project and I had it off center. I forgot to um, make sure that the surface was in the work area. So yeah, this is called a living hinge. Um, first, I'd like to point out that's not the fault of the laser. That was just a defect in the wood. I did go way too much power and or too slow of a speed here. That's something you just got to dial in. I was just messing around with a piece of scrap. If I was going to do this for an item I was going to use, I would either go in here and lightly sand this, or I would just do it again and change the power and speed accordingly. So the cool thing about a living hinge is that's wood and you now have a hinge. Right? Pretty cool. Just for an example, I did this one on a different laser. It kind of works, but it's much more stiff. Um, came out pretty similar, except that laser costs three times as much and has a much smaller work area. So I already love the Monport just because I have the larger work area. And I'm so bummed that wood was defective there. But these are cool because you can use them for like make a little fake book and you know you store stuff in there and there's your hinge you can use it for a, like a clutch or a handbag that's your top hinge when it opens up you can use these for all kinds of stuff you can get real creative this is the pattern that i found that works the best for wood um, some of the other patterns look really cool but anytime i've done them on wood no matter what size i do them at no matter what thickness they just they give up and, and fall right apart. But that's a pretty cool thing. Now, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. Like I said, the, the, the laser specifically, not the hinge. Um, it's a really good laser. I'm, I'm falling in love with it. When I first unboxed it and set it out, I was like, oh man, this seems so complicated. It's not. This thing is just, you, Take out some packing material that was inside it, cut a cable, like a flex cuff cable, and you're good to go. You can go watch my unboxing video for that. And then, like, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's wonderful. You, you start using it, and it, it, it just, it's great. Anyway, so that's just a quick look at a living hinge that you can do. Again, this is my fault, not the laser's fault. Um, you know, I'm new to this laser and I'm trying to figure out the optimal settings for my laser and my materials. This, I don't know, there's just something so cool about a living hinge. Like my mind was blown when I found out you could do this with wood and now I just can't stop making them. <laughs> I, I haven't really used them in anything, but I just like showing people like, look, that's a piece of wood. Anyway, there will be a affiliate link to this laser and the chiller that I have for it in the comments in the description. If you use my affiliate code Ryan Mercer or you use the affiliate link and the code Ryan Mercer, you'll get, I believe it's 10% off on the site and I do get a little bit of uh, a commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Just being fair in my disclosure there. You can, you can go and, and do it a different way, but I'd much appreciate if you're gonna buy one of these and you stop by this video to use that code. You save money and I get a little bit to buy more materials and cool toys for this channel. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.